Hello, Design Meet is over. We had a great time. And I want to show you today what we have decided for this coming season. We have done mainly three uh, combinations of colors. The first one with uh, aubergine, porphyr, and camel, a very hot for autumn ambiance. A very, very haute couture and daring assortment with uh, violet, palm, and uh, grippelli. Shocking combination, but you know, that's haute couture. And here, more classic, very design, urban in the blues and in the gray uh, colors. So here, to start, the autumn hot color combination with these fantastic jars that you can also use for flowers in verdure collection, mixing the camel, the prune and porphyr. Here my haute couture, palm, violet and grey colors. Cups, I think you deserve, everyone deserves to have a wonderful cup to start or to finish the day. Lovely combination of classical patterns and very abstract tie-dye. Tie-dye is a hot point in uh, this combination of colors. Wonderful potiche in this very soft combination of colors, hot and soft. Follow me for the table. We start with autumn. A big la vase. Very nice when you have a, a chimney or when you want to put them on, a, on the side of the table. Can be put in the middle of the table, but not so convenient to speak together. But this is camel, very beautiful with this gold brush stroke on top. On the table, I have mainly decided to do agate um, as a charger. I play with agate and I play also with tie-dye collection. Interesting for chargers because the plate is full of color. On top, mix of collections. Interesting to have different patterns. Here you have Makisak uh, with camel, the fantastic porphyr which change the color because it's put on another color. So you have this interesting play of colors and um, prune on top with uh, here a uh, rasha stripe that you can have in vice versa styles. So one evening a very graphic table, another evening more romantic with patterns. Zephyr, camel and prune. We have this interesting work of um, very like, like a damier. Also the idea of the wind of movement, zephyr. Why not putting on zephyr this jingo collection, which can be like a tree leaf or you know, a little bit of Japanese pattern, a little bit Asiatic. Crazy verdure, three colors. Same three colors, prune, porphyr and um, camel, which are just put in another way down. So it's very interesting how with the three same color, you can have completely different aspect of colorway. So this was the hot and uh, leather colors. Here, a very urban, the classic design colors. The gray, uh, bleu orange, bleu angoise, blue, this fantastic pearl blue, which is going in the soft grays. And agate charger again. Um, here you see two combination of same collection, which are done in different shades of gray. So one would be cold and, um, yeah, sorry, cold, and this one warmer, but we are still in the same shade of blue gray. Very interesting. The goblets are very often matching the chargers. I love agate goblet. It's simple, it's pure. And goblet, of course, can be used um, for a little start, have a little mousse, or can be a little dessert. Here, I use them for wood. Oud, very pure collection. This is this um, interesting um, work of uh, lines, which are like water, really very uh, aquatic patterns. Uh, can be, of course, mixed with my kaleidoscope collection, very ethnic collection. So you see here, someone may have two different sets and use them together. Zephyr in uh, blue 59 and blue 60. Uh, these two blue grays and uh, agate charger. And circle de caille in um, this um, lovely grays and, um, and blue uh, ardoise uh, colors. In the middle of the table, the cash bow. Uh, very convenient either to put flowers or you can even put some uh, green plants so you can keep them. In the grey you can go also in this direction. Another blue uh, in the combination, more greedy blue, bleu ardoise and bleu horta. And behind you have this interesting zephyr uh, plate with three colors and you can really see how the top brush stroke are mixed with the background and give a very strong idea of movement.
I mix the two collections together. Zephyr with a white background could look quite different. I work also a lot with the silver color. Silver color, which gives a very soft powder uh, style to the plate. Uh, ruban and serpentine. Let's move slowly to the palm and the violet, you know, this little bit shocking colors. Bouquet de verdure, very feminine. Palm, violet and gold. We play with the three colors, which can go on the flower and on the branch. We can, of course, completely change the style of the table with the dahlia, a baroque pattern. I wanted also to bring a little subtle uh, color, which is a puce. Another palmy uh, color, which was a favorite color of Marie Antoinette. Interesting to mix this uh, gray uh, palm color with a real palm. Bouquet de vie, charming, joyful. They can be mixed with zephyr. Interesting always to have the very graphic and uh, flower patterns. Let's move to my haute couture table. So here we are in the full look palm violet. Yes, I dare to do it and I'm happy to have done it because I love it. So look at this plate, amazing. This tie-dye with palm and violet. It's typically the colors of the directoire period, you know, a little bit of manierism. So it's very interesting. Marquesac, I bring here the gray, pearl gray, this pearl gray blue, which is the palm, brush stroke outside and the violet in the middle with this fantastic ribbon, pearl grey and palm, zephyr. And you can have this other zephyr, which is a more sophisticated one. You have here the pearl grey background and palm and violet on top, which gives again this movement. The last but not the least, verdure in these three colors, violet, palm and grey, which are turning in different ways. So it gives a, a very interesting uh, contrast and my little bread plate, and my little goblet, my magic goblet. I can put flowers, I can drink tea, I can do whatever. I just have to have it, it's part of my life, a goblet. You cannot live without a goblet. So that was my new collections. I hope you love them as much as we enjoy to do them for you. Bye.